I'm under the hood of this car. Uh, earlier when it uh, was given me a uh, misfire on cylinder number two, which is this one, I swapped the ignition coils with number one uh, uh, to number two over here. And then I swapped the uh, spark plugs and the misfire didn't go away. So it gave me actually uh, the fuel and air ratio imbalance. And then what I was uh, thinking uh, was that uh, either my uh, fuel line or injectors are bad or the valve is not uh, closing all the way, the intake valve. So uh, firstly, I replaced the fuel injector number two, uh, cylinder number two to uh, the fuel injector on cylinder number four. And then actually the problem uh, moved to cylinder number four from cylinder number two. Um, and right now this uh, cylinder is giving me uh, as I showed you in the code, uh, misfire and uh, fuel, fuel and air ratio imbalance. So I got a new fuel injector and I'm gonna show you how to replace uh, the fuel injector and uh, uh, let's see if it solves, uh, solves the problem. Okay, to replace uh, the fuel injector on cylinder number four or any of these cylinders, uh, we have two bolts over here and one bolt over here Hopefully you can see it's right behind this wire uh, that actually tightens this uh, uh, fuel pipe. Uh, I took that off already uh, yesterday. So we're gonna remove these two bolts right now. Uh, before you take off uh, the fuel injectors, make sure there's no debris or any dirt over here so it doesn't go inside your uh, uh, intake area. Uh, let me take off these two bolts so before I do anything <clears throat> take off the bolt I'm gonna take off I'm gonna unplug these connectors should be fairly easy push on this lever and then pull it all right it's good now we got the wires unplugged let's take off the bolts right here let me do it with this Now we just simply take off our fuel rail with the injectors. So take this off too so it don't drop it. I think I can take off my injector. This is the injector number four. It's looking something like this. Hopefully it focuses on it. And we're gonna replace this with, uh, with another one which I put over here and put some moist on this and then I'm gonna push it into the place okay, this gasket came off I think this one is not in place. Let me find it out. You can just move it a little bit. It's kind of hard to take off the fuel rail and not necessary uh, to take it completely off. I think I can find it over here. Now it's in place. Let me put this back on. Okay. Now we're gonna make sure everything is in place. 
let's wiggle this a little bit okay it's in place now we're gonna put our bolts back in this one this is uh, these bolts are uh, 12 millimeter and we're gonna tighten them now I think I'm out of battery on this. Let me uh, change the battery on and I'll be back. All right, I'm back with the new battery. That is good. Gonna torque it, torque it a little bit to make sure it's tight. Okay, that's good enough. So uh, when you replace uh, the fuel injectors and then you first uh, start your car, uh, some fuel may come out of uh, the injectors because uh, they're not sitting uh, right uh, in their place. So when that happens, you can just wiggle it a little bit till uh, that gasket uh, or that washer grabs it uh, completely and no fuel comes out. And now we're going to plug the wires. So hopefully we're not losing any fuel. If you do, we're going to wiggle the injectors. And for this one, it's over here. It is all good. And then uh, we're going to put uh, that bolt over there later on. Let's check it up uh, first and uh, see if uh, everything checks out yep. okay the car is on now and i'm on my scan tool i'm checking uh, for misfires cylinder one two three and four and uh, it looks that everything is normal i don't see any misfires you can see that the misfires over here uh, they show like zero all of them so that indeed solved our problem and uh, that's it thank you so much uh, please like follow and subscribe our channel and if you have any thoughts or questions please comment and thank you so much again